gave the floor to the distinguished representative of Bulgaria. Mr. Chair, distinguished delegates, as Bulgarian youth delegates to the UN, we advocate for youth inclusion and strongly encourage youth participation in decision-making processes at all levels. Applying the full potential of the 1.8 billion young people around the globe to tackle the world's challenges would bring a necessary change. Can you imagine what could be accomplished? Young people around the world are in need of quality education that bridges the gap for the required half a billion job openings by 2030. As youth representatives, we conducted a nationwide survey among young Bulgarians to have a better understanding of the difficulties they face. Where 1,239 participants took action. Young people of Bulgaria identified quality education to be of utter importance, followed by decent work. Above all, education is at the core of our society, and only through its transforming powers can humanity go further. Nevertheless, there are still needs to be met in order to provide quality education for all. We must develop the work skills of tomorrow, such as critical thinking, problem solving, and creativity from an early age. Young people believe this could be achieved by teachers applying methods that are more inspiring, practical, guiding, and modern. Nowadays, the available digital means and the abundance of information create fundamental prerequisites for an effective, creative, and inclusive education. This is why we recognize technology as one of the mediums for providing quality formal, non-formal, and informal education to all young people, including the ones with no or little access to it, in order to develop practical skills. A larger incorporation of technologies in secondary and tertiary education is a solution to accessibility and inclusion issues. Mr. Chair, according to the SDG report of 2019, one in five youngsters around the world were not engaged in education, employment or training. This untapped human potential needs to be stimulated and given the right instruments as well as opportunities to grow at the workplace. Both the Sustainable Development Goals and the World Programme of Action for Youth call upon government and the private sector to promote policies, funds and schemes for self-employment, entrepreneurship and youth work programmes. Moreover, decent work must be adequately paid with the right working conditions and it must bring growth with a healthy work-life balance. Young Bulgarians demand to be paid fairly and proportionally to their acquired level of education, complexity of position and practical expertise. Furthermore, remuneration needs to provide adequate living standards and work-life balance, especially for young parents, working students and people with disabilities, regardless of age, sex or ethnic background. Policies addressing these issues are paid internships integrated into the educational curriculum, non-formal education, dual education and apprenticeships that will be co-funded by the government to address the market needs. Last but not least, employment must bring meaning by the provision of opportunities for growth and employers must invest in the continuous improvement of young professionals. The prosperous jobs of the future will decouple economic growth from environmental degradation and are a key mission for the youth of member states. This would resonate with young people as it has multiple value-added aspects, including increased job opportunities, saving our ecosystem and a lifetime working synergy. The UN has already recognized in its youth strategy that it can achieve its mission only by partnering with young people. We are the driving force of change. Thus, we're calling for system-wide action by the private sector, NGOs and member states on youth-focused policies in learner-centered education, prosperous employment, well-being and a stable environment. Our time has come to lead the way into the best imaginable future now and beyond Agenda 2030. Only then would we reach sustainability in relations, in economy and in resources. Thank you, Mr. Chair.